Okay, here we are at day number two, and once again, it was about a 10 to 15 minute training session. And you'll see that we had some challenges with Delbert hanging onto the nail clippers, so I had to teach him how to drop those on cue. And also, um, he would try to put both feet on my hand, where actually I just wanted one foot on my hand. So watch this sequence and see if you get some ideas for some next steps for you. So on day two, we hope to try and start where we left off. So at this point, I'll see if Delbert will put his foot back on my hand with the nail clippers there like he was doing yesterday at the end of the session. And he's pretty good with that, although there he goes again trying to hop up onto my hand. So I use my target, he's getting a little excited there, to try and have him step back off so I can get him back on track. And then we'll just ask him again and see if he's ready. There he goes. And just a little tiny uh, criteria there. I don't ask for too much just to get him back in the game, keep him on track. And you can see my finger now is starting to turn into a cue for him. Although we're back to that hopping onto the hand. So we use our target to get him back on there. And this time try and get that reinforcer to him right away as soon as he puts that one foot on to remind him that it's not about putting both feet on, it's just about putting one foot on. Okay, so we're trying to add a little more movement of that, that nail clipper in there once again. And one thing I like is that he's given me both feet. It's pretty easy for him to get stuck on just one foot if that one gets reinforced more than the other one. But I'm liking that both feet are being offered at different times. He does seem to offer the right one and keep it there a lot longer like he did just there. But he does still offer the other one, but I keep an eye out for that. Um, because I don't want him to learn that it's only about the right foot. I do want him to make sure he uses the left one. So once again, he hopped onto the hand. So once again, I use my target to get him back and try and remind him what it is that does work. Putting that foot on my hand. You don't have to put the whole weight. And there we got some really nice movement and he's left his foot there for quite a long time. Okay, once again, hopped back on the hand. So use that target to bring him back over, back to the perch. So I'm going to go back to that reinforcing right away as soon as he gets that foot on there so that he remembers it's just about one foot. You don't have to put two feet on me. And now we're adding a little more movement again, close to the nails. He seems to be doing really well with that right there, so lots of treats for that. Oh, back to playing with the nail clipper. So we use that fabulous drop cue to get him to give it up. And for me, the criteria is just drop it out of your mouth at first, and we'll work on the part of dropping it out of your hand. So that's another behavior for another time. Actually, I have a great article about that in one of the issues of Good Bird Magazine. Okay, so now I'm adding a little bit of tactile to his toes, getting him comfortable with the idea of me manipulating his toes, because I'm probably going to have to do some moving those little tootsies around in order to actually get the nail trip uh, clippers right where I want them. Delbert's having fun here. He might be starting to lose his attention span. Now what I'm trying to do with that target is see if I can get him to hold position without putting two feet on my hand. So I wanted to work on extending the intervals of time in between reinforcers because what he was tending to do was eat one treat and then immediately hop onto the hand to get closer to the target to get the next one. So I'm trying to see if I can get him to just put the one foot on there, hang out for a little bit, and then get reinforced. And I like that right there. He's leaving that foot for quite a while. And again, let me manipulate his toes a little bit with my thumb. So good progress for second day. He obviously isn't quite there yet. 